and then after spending the whole of day in in the state of fast in all these activities inshallah then comes the time of the sunset where all of us will be will be doing our sunset meal or our iftari and we will be breaking our fasts and just as i narrated previously that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's manner was that he never delayed the breaking of fast and as far as as uh, this breaking of the fast is concerned this is the time the time before the breaking of the fast that is the time of the sunset in the month of ramadan this is the time when prayers are answered number 1 prayers are answered and number 2 this is the time when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala releases his bondsmen from the hell fire so we need to plan we need to very carefully plan and we need to get free from the preparation of the meal of this time we need to get free a few minutes before the sunset and before the iftar and getting free a few minutes we're going to sit we're going to sit quietly and focus and concentrate on dua because this is the time of acceptance of the prayers and this is the time when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to release some of his bondsmen from the hell fire may we be one of those lucky ones so we are going to pray for many things other which you want to pray but we are definitely all of us we're going to pray number one for forgiveness forgiveness of all of our of all of our previous sins number two release from hell and number three being rewarded with the entrance to jannah and little brief these supplications of quran and the and the supplications taught by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam i will be here mentioning four of these i just okay fine go ahead we just the first is allahumma ajirna min an-nar and we will be saying these words a minimum of three times because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has promised us that any person who asks or prays for the release from hell then hell itself pleads and intercedes for this person to be released from hell so we're going to say at least a minimum of three times allahumma ajirna min an-nar allahumma ajirna min an-nar allahumma ajirna min an-nar and then ask for the bounties of jannah rabbibni li indaka baitan fil jannah and we are also going to say these recite these words of quran at least thrice because again prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has informed all of us in his words that whoever asks and prays for the reward of jannah three times then jannah itself will intercede and plead to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that person to be rewarded with the blessings and bounties of jannah so three times and then seeking forgiveness for the sins is a quranic supplication rabbi ighfir warham wa anta khairur rahimin and then the words of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam allahumma innaka afuwan qareemun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anna fa'fu anna fa'fu anna and i will request all of you and suggest all of you <coughs> and i will request and suggest all of you to recite these verses and words loudly so that all of our family members all of our family members around us our husbands our children all of them around us they get to hear and they slowly and steadily will be reciting and then they will learn it by heart and then inshallah after we have passed away they will carry on the sunnahs of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then there is for the breaking of the fast there is a supplication proven by the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam zahaba zama wa tilat al aruku wa thabbat al ajr wa insha allah we shall be 
reciting these words to follow the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and being being desirous of being rewarded of following the sunnah as well. Now, breaking the fast as by the manner of the Prophet Sallallahu was that he used to eat. To start with, he used to take a fresh date or a dry date if a fresh date was not available or if both were not available, he used to take, he used to drink some water. Taking salt is not proven by the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But what we learn from here is we are not going to fuss over the food we have been provided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our family. By the courtesy of our mothers or our husbands or sisters, we are not going to fuss over the food. Be grateful for whatever we have been provided be with and try to be simple. Try to be simple. And we need to realize at this time when we ourselves have experienced the hunger pangs throughout the fast, at this time of the day and throughout the fast, we need to realize the hunger of the hungry and the deprived. And we need to remember and care the thirst of those who are deprived of clean, pure, cool water or drinks. <coughs> and then and then we all should also try to provide food and drinks to our fellow beings for breaking their fast because this will also be a source of reward as much as fasting itself. <coughs> 